Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I am here with a very special, I don't know if it's going to be an episode or just its own little thing, but we've decided, I've talked to my producer, Frank, and we've decided to have a little fun. I am joined by Ray McGuff, comedian, ZTO extraordinaire. How you doing? <laughs> Good. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Got a newborn in the house. It's uh, oh. ridiculous. But we've also, we're going to watch some wrestling clips that Frank's put up for us. We don't know what's coming, and we're just going to make fun of it because that's what comedians do. So are you ready? I am ready. Congratulations on the newborn as well. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So let's all do right. this. Let's, let's do it. Cue it up, Frank. Is this dial up? <laughs> yeah the noise in the background oh <laughs> uh, i know i know this clip right now i don't even need audio i know what this is this is new jack how ray how how familiar are you with new jack not familiar at all he's an old ecw guy who just he just basically stabs people now that's what he does uh, okay yeah this guy the guy on the right is a guy named gypsy joe this is from like 2005 six something like that uh, and uh, gypsy joe's an old uh old territory guy who's like at this point he's like 70 something years old why he's in the ring i'll never know <laughs> and he's working with new jack who is wearing his uh fancy bibbed overalls and uh yeah it's it starts out like a regular match and then it uh, almost immediately it becomes an assault oh, like wow. uh, there's already weapons in the ring that's new jack's thing and uh yeah right there there's a knee and then uh at some point he stabs him a, yeah, he's just assaulting a you know there's a working punch and then there's murder and uh, yeah. this match tends toward the murder part uh yeah I, it, it, yeah frank's gonna skip some of this stuff because it, it gets uh it's just normal and then it gets really bad <laughs> like that's a guy who doesn't want to go up for a body slam and he went over anyway yeah i i <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like he's abusing this elderly man who's questioning why he's even there you know he, he kind of is it starts that way it starts like a match and then it just ends with him just beating up a senior citizen and yeah. uh i wish i could say this was different for new jack it's not this is normal and they are there in the the what look like chairs you'd find at a laundromat that's good yeah like a 70s uh, laundromat <laughs> yeah an old 70s laundromat or something in kenton yeah. and i used to go to those laundromats i know and yeah, there's, I don't know exactly, but there's a part here where he, I can't, I don't know what he hits him with. I think it's yeah, this. What is that it? is barbed wire wrapped around a bat, I think. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, oh. this ain't like Mick Foley. Oh. This is, he's legitimately hitting a man with a bat. Yeah. Like. The guy's a psychopath, apparently. Yeah, he is. He's, he's a psychopath. <laughs> uh, this is the, I want to say the first of, I think, four times where he stabbed someone different people uh I mean, one of which he stabbed with uh what was basically a wolverine claw <laughs> he stabbed the guy in the stomach in florida that's unbelievable and, yeah, I, and this, I, i'm looking at that dude and i'm like he clearly at the end was like no 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 this wasn't planned you know yeah it wasn't oh. it started now this is uh the guy on the left is jushin thunder liger uh, who just recently retired. Uh, the guy on the right works for WWE right now. His name is Tommaso Ciampa. The tattooed fella is uh, named Aleister Black. He used to be called Tommy End. He's from, he's Dutch, which is sort of weird. Oh, that is so Matt Riddle. <laughs> yeah, these are successive thumbs in the ass. Yeah, this is the uh, human centipede. <laughs> yeah, this is the low budget version in California. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't, I... That is, I think, Pete Dunn there at the end. He worked for WB now, too. So y'all got to start somewhere and thumb in the ass. Yeah, he's like, all right, I guess I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, so now you think now you think it's it's over. Now, here's, yeah, they got a bushwhacker. It, that's, this is look at, look at all these hillbillies just jumping out of their seats, too. Yeah. I know is... that. I recognize <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a bushwhacker. And then he flips him oh. over with his ass. And that's, uh, again, I wish I could say PWG. That was the only time that ever happened. It's not. Um, <laughs> okay, I don't know this one. So this one's new to me. The gangbang connection. Oh, God. Well, yeah, that, that's uh That gimmick comes with chlamydia. My God. 
with a racist stereotype managing them. That's awesome. Yeah, you know. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't I recognize the guy in the back there, El Drunko. <laughs> I do recognize that because God, they put out some shitty backyard wrestling game in the early 2000s and he was in it somehow. That is awesome. Yeah. I already like this guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a drunk luchador. I don't know how you can drink through the mask, but uh <laughs> it looks like he's got a hole cut in it. Yeah. Yeah, he maybe yeah, for the for the for the beer. <laughs> he's Steve Austin of Luchadors. All right. And he's putting his shoes on in the ring. That's yeah. oh, they're all tied. That's gonna confuse me. Oh them. no. <laughs> oh dear i'm just still getting over the gangman connection I'm, I'm still getting over the fact that that's a name someone used uh <laughs> that sounds at least like a porn site but it shouldn't be in wrestling i'm sorry <laughs> i love that the dude walked over and was like are we gonna do this and he's like my shoes are tied <laughs> my shoes are tied and there's a uh, flea market jeff hardy doing whatever <laughs> human tornado i love human tornado i've seen him he's like a 70s pimp type character and he's hilarious <laughs> He does a spot, I don't know if it's in this one, but he does a spot where the guy hits him with a ball shot and then, like, he's got balls of steel. That's the gimmick. So when they does, he does it and then he just, he, like, pimp slaps him. Oh, nice. He, he stares at him and then just backhands him. It's nuts. <laughs> and El Drunko and Human Tornado, dear God. Uh, yeah, he did a, a oh, jeez. Yeah, Moonsault and Mist. That was fun. Uh, I will say I like this only because El Drunko is a gimmick. Like, you can tell the guy's fucking around. I, I right. like that. Like, he's not just a bad wrestler. Like, he's playing around. But, uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, this, this is, is <laughs> Jackie Chan acting 101 right here. You yeah, know? pretty much. <laughs> this is the... Yeah, this is like if they did, like, a bad kung fu movie with yeah. uh, in the 70s. Like, it was like... I don't know. It was like uh, Black Dynamite versus the Zombies or something. It'd be right. something really black exploitation plus like it would be plus but like B movie. Like that's what this would be. <laughs> no fighting. That's a rule. I'm sorry. That is hilarious. <laughs> he should not have had a wrestling show there. That's that is on the promotion. That is... Yeah. <laughs> I like the uh, El Drunko calls it. He's like, whoa. He's like, up, up. Yeah, fight now. That's uh. Yeah. Oh, uh, I can yeah, this is clearly like some community center. It literally says community center on the back wall, which is that is dirty, independent wrestling. Look how dirty that mat is, man. Oh yeah, that's here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, got in the balls. Doesn't affect him, right? Yeah. The guy's like, oh, what's going on here? And this is great because he pimp slaps him and it's the greatest thing. Nope, still nothing. Just uh Yeah. Oh, oh challenging for a third a one. Hole. Yeah. Oh, he's like, all right, I'm gonna quit now. I don't know. Uh, nope. Why would the if the why would the fourth one do it if the first right. three didn't? So that don't make any sense. <laughs> That's a new one. I that is a new one. Uh, <laughs> that was he does not have balls of steel. Uh, only Humor Tornado does. He thought now something that, was wrong with his hand. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, that mat there. That's IWA Mid South. It is the most dirtiest promotion you've ever seen in your life. So that does not surprise me. Ugh, look at this, this insane clown posse. Right yeah, there. what the fuck is it? This is uh yeah, the guy who got kicked out of the insane clown posse for being too weird. <laughs> and dime store punisher? I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't like every chubby, guy who chubby, every guy who is the punisher. Pun, chubby punisher. Every guy who has the punisher sticker on the back of his truck. Yeah. He jumps out of his truck and here he is. This is oh hey. my, is this Oh my god. Why was that guy walking like that? Did you see he was walking? Yeah, like, what is he a bushwhacker? What is this? Walking like my mammal. <laughs> my, are they my thing is oh my god, he's not even jogging. Like that's if you're moving your arm like you're jogging and you're just walking, you you're just walking. That's all you're doing. <laughs> this person has to be like 70 years old. Man. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> oh it, what is this? I don't he just pushed him over. Like that's a thing that just happened. Now, I'll tell you, man, I, I've i been to a bunch of these matches with you and Frank, you know, around Lima. <laughs> yeah. And they're a thousand times better than this stuff. Tom would kill somebody if they had a match like this. He literally yeah. just pushed him over. Like, that was yeah. a, that was the finish. Yeah, they, they, Tom would come out personally and beat the crap out of these guys. This is horrible. Yeah, Tom's running like a, a miniature, you know, full-on professional. <laughs> oh, God, yes. <laughs> you know? And, and that, would, that would piss him the hell off. Yeah. Now this, this looks a little bit more promising. 
This is CZW. I remember this one. That is uh, Joe Gacy is the big the big guy. And these guys are called the Osirian Portal. And they apparently have hypnotized the other guys. <laughs> like, that's oh. literally what they've done. And, oh, no, Joe I... Gacy's going to come to the ring. That's not, I don't know. But, yeah, they've hypnotized them. I and... see. And. Yeah, it, it, this is another one. This is CZW, but uh, they're uh, a couple of these guys are Chikara guys, and they're known for being a little goofy. That is cardboard, a la 1980s. Right, clearly Clark Cardboard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're dancing. Yeah, in the, in the original clip of this, you see it's a uh, you. They're playing music. That's why they're all freaking around. But uh, yeah, they hypnotize them, and they're having a dance party on cardboard. <laughs> In the middle of Philadelphia, the city that uh, moved Santa Claus. Break dancing. Yeah. Yep. It is what you do. Uh Booker T's pissed. Uh yeah, this is there's one, yeah, there's one point where Joe, I think it maybe that is Joe Gacy, but the fat guy, yeah, takes a bump. <laughs> yeah, that was uh <laughs> Did, and then in the middle of that, okay, let's get back to wrestling, I guess. I don't know. We hypnotized the guy into breakdancing. Now we got to finish him off. Right. Ah. It's still better than the clown match, but, you know, <laughs> by reference. That's a uh, that's that's one of those where you're like, really? Okay. Oh, wow, yeah. look at this. Meanwhile, in Backwoods, Kentucky, uh, which is redundant, Yeah. <laughs> Two meth addicts are fighting over their over top their camper and what I can only assume is going to be something they're going to have to explain to their second girlfriend. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. What would you like do bad... to our house, Ricky? Yeah, what would you do to our house, Ricky? <laughs> I'm trying to sell the... What, that. what? Oh, my God. Okay, that one I didn't see coming. That is... Uh... Oh, wow. There are so many things wrong with that clip. Um they had a ramp, so they knew it was going to happen. But is this Viva La Bam? Is that what this is? Like, like did someone... Um, this, those people could have got seriously injured, man. Yeah, everyone in this could have died, and then they would have had it on a shitty VHS tape. So that's not good. <laughs> uh, the bump was stupid. There were light tubes. That was what the stuff stacked were. The guy's in a car. Oh, he has a helmet. Oh, it's okay, everybody. He's wearing a helmet. He's, He's wearing a helmet. The- they're part of the wrestling gig. Oh, okay. Yeah, he has a helmet. The back of the car said dildo because it's a high class establishment. Yeah. <laughs> this is literally backyard wrestling because this is someone's house. That is the backyard of someone's house. This is crazy. Like, like I just like one of the wrestlers, quote unquote, it's their dad's house. I don't know. Like uh, I, I, I don't even <laughs> imagine like we had a barbecue once and people complained. Right. You barbecue, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. This is somewhere where they're like, oh. Daryl and the boys are at it again. What they do? Right. They drove through a camper. Well, it was bound to happen. Uh, oh. Well, now we're going to move on to a little something. Like I said, we didn't have audio on these, and these we have two more that are going to be. We're going to do some promos because there's one thing that's interesting is sometimes a bad wrestling promo can be almost as good as a as a really good one. So, right, we're gonna we're gonna listen to some wrestling promos, and we're both going to give our opinion. Okay. So let's try that. Hey, Bob Hodges. Caleb Hodges. What's the deal, man? Huh? Huh? You're not scared, are you? Yeah. Surely you're not. I'm a little. Surely you're not. <laughs> because it was you. Boy, that called me out. And when I made a video response to that call out, you accepted the match. Ever since that time, <laughs> I have been working out. No, I have been working out. I went and this. <laughs> Get ready. Ready. Like, almost ready. doing a push up doesn't count. That's not. Yeah. Match. Oh, my God. God. This is Rocky Montage. Yeah, this is uh Arkansas Rocky. I don't know. Really, really digging that uh blanket uh, on the curtain. <laughs> yeah, that's because you have more things to do than have money for curtains. I mean, you gotta clearly 
Waste You've got to get those teeth worked on, damn it. Information <laughs> confirming this match. I oh my watch. God. Since I made my video and you accepted, there has been nothing. <laughs> nothing. There has been no word. There has been no confirmation. There has been nothing. Well, if he accepted oh, it, that's confirmation. Yeah, that's confirmation. Like, yeah. what? How long do <laughs> like, does he know what words mean? I want to know. <laughs> I mean, surely, surely, Caleb, you didn't go to the Knox City Police Department. Oh, these dramatic head. pauses are not working the way he thinks they are. Please, don't let this match get a hold of me. He seems oh. like he's going to start talking in pirate I, animal. I want to parlay with you. <laughs> you are parlay. <laughs> oh, my God. I can be in that room. I still need some answers. I need some confirmation here. Seriously, I need no. to know. How many teeth do you need? Though, you know? Oh, yeah. he only needs four. That's four it. Nine. I mean, yeah, this one to open his beer and three backups. He's got the I'm one in the middle I'm there. That's for Terran meat. Yeah, that's for the meat. He's got <laughs> canines. It and and uh, 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 uh you should have cut this like three seconds ago. Uh. My like that's a video. Oh, God. <laughs> Champions here in South Florida, here in Division One Pro Wrestling. What the hell? The home are these two? One Tommy Van. Are these two from the, the trailer video? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> North Carolina and became a champion right away. So now, <laughs> oh, big head. I like that guy's tie. It's like way too long. But now, oh, that's way too long. Yeah, that's a belt in someone. In the ocean. Although it's, it, his outfit does look like a trash bag, so that's good. This that's... is the world's largest athlete maximum capacity. He's not. 50 pounds of the biggest, baddest, and best oh. in this business. Tommy wow. Vanley, you forget. We broke into this business together. We trained what? side by side. We've had the same manager at different right. times. We travel this entire <laughs> state. The managers, own. that's right. <laughs> we that's right. Against each other in the that is a fact. Times. He bought me this long tie. Yeah. Yeah. What you can't be menacing and have a and have a. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, it just can't happen. Soft. That's why right. you got soft. You lost that's that white inside that you once had. When <laughs> that's you white. The state. What are you, a little you rascal? You, you were one of the it's best. It's just like the intro to a uh, you were part porn of hub done at home video. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, this is someone who would be in a porn, porn hub home video. Yeah. Like, you know, the, you're like, oh, really? The guy, really? This is my manager, Tito. Yeah, but the, yeah, Tito. <laughs> this is... This is clearly a casting like couch in some horrible, horrible <laughs> state. Yeah. Like not even California, we'll like, a like a Midwest state. Once again, we'll give you a I'm from the Midwest, and this is bad by our standards. <laughs> I like those uh, Hardin County sweatpants he's got on. Oh, God, yeah. You know they're good because they're pulled up to his nipples. That's how yeah. you know. That just means there's more That just means there's more skin underneath the sweatpants. Yeah. Like, these are pulled up way too high. It's what literally like suctioned across. Give you. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. They're gonna have to cut him out of those. Um, we'll give you a chance to face the best manager, managing the world's largest athlete, and we'll give you a chance. First of all, to get your you're not the world's largest athlete. You're just a fat guy. Yeah. <laughs> like Big Show is seven foot tall and five hundred pounds. You know what I mean? This right. guy is probably five foot three and six hundred fifty. It's not the same thing. Largest means largest overall. I mean, I I, I guess he could be the world's sloppiest. Yeah, sloppiest, <laughs> fattest, I'm the most sloppiest. likely to win a win a ribs eating contest. You know, yeah. like most likely to sneeze on the sneeze guard at Ponderosa. Totally looks like looks like. <laughs> Looks like like Bubba Ray Dudley if he ate Bubba Ray Dudley, you know the ones like those yeah. types, like Mick Foley in an alternate reality. I mean, you can't say largest. That's bullshit. I mean, we've been doing videos um, for a long time here at the channel, and yes. if I put that out as my promo for anything that quality, <laughs> I would just go, oh, "We're failing here. We need to." Yeah, re-school. Frank would Frank would hurt you. Frank would be like, "Okay, let's try that again." Uh, yeah. First of all, put put a shirt on. Let's not have that anymore. Yeah. Um and 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 like we've done some per- like we'll do some purposely funny ones but that was uh, it was not, that was funny for the wrong reasons. Right. Like I literally was dead serious. 
as he started to list off his things, I literally didn't care. I just kept going kale, <laughs> fruit juice, kale, push yeah, up, you're sit up. You're looking at the guy and you're just like, I don't know, the <laughs> Mohawk and the, 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 I'm not here to talk about speech impediments, but you can't be, you can't sound tough and sound like a little rascal. There are laws. <laughs> Like, let me tell you this. Like, the only guy who pulled it off was Mike Tyson, only because he could kill you. Right. But I don't think 650 pound, you know, Donnie Wahlberg was going to do nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I wonder, I, it, how can you be? My thing is, if you're that big, how can you be trained? Oh, he's a wrestler. How's he trained? How's he trained? That guy, yeah. that, guy does, that guy does a bump. He ain't getting up. I'm sorry. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, in, in any of those, uh, like, like you're talking about the big show, he's in shape. You know what yes. I mean? Like that dude didn't look like he'd get off his couch without help. <laughs> well, that's why he was doing the promo on. They were sitting on a couch. Yeah. Like I'm doing. Okay, we're doing this, and you and I are sitting here, right? right. I get that, but we're like we're doing we're doing a, a video where you do a podcast or that's thing. But if you're doing call me a traditionalist, but if you're in wrestling and you're doing a doing a promo, I usually expect you to be standing up. I want to right. be able to prove that my wrestlers can stand some movement. You know, like the first you guy, know, he was a great big belly, but he was, he was, uh, he was he at least arm standing. And, he yeah. was standing. I mean, it was terrifying, but he was standing right. You know, that, low bar. <laughs> yeah. I want to see the first guy face the second guy. And I want to see those promos. That would be, Oh yeah. Ooh, that'd be something to look forward to. Uh, I'm, down for, I'm down for that. Only if the manager gets involved, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How, with his giant tie. Yeah. My, my thing is, how did we start with New Jack stabbing a senior citizen and only go downhill? How does that? Yeah, that I is mean, amazing. I thought we kind of, yes, you know, topped it there at the, the beginning, but the, the, the no, it, it progressively got worse. It got worse. <laughs> yeah, again, makes good for us, but uh, sad for the wrestling <laughs> business. Uh, wow. And that, that's the thing, man. I loved wrestling growing up. Like I, we've talked mm -hmm. about a minute, million times, me and you. Oh yeah. And uh, I got out of it for a while, and I got back into it in the early two thousands. And I've watched on and off stuff. Yeah. Right yeah. There nowadays, but uh, these kind of things, it makes me sad <laughs> because it it yeah. discourages people from the good stuff. You know, yes. like I, yeah. The, the biggest hard. problem with the biggest problem with pro wrestling is the the biggest problem you find is everyone can claim to be a pro wrestler mm -hmm. from the guys who are working real like legit companies to the guys with that trailer and that attempted vehicular homicide near the end right like anyone can can claim to be a wrestler and yeah if you're on youtube you're gonna find a lot more of that than actually legit stuff and that's right. it's funny like when you're after the fact but yeah if you're looking at it there's a lot of crap out there and that doesn't help because you end up with crap of guys who I mean, I, I, I was trained. I trained, uh, never wrestled, never worked a match um, in front of a crowd. But I trained about 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was taught by an old school trainer. And I was taught the right way. And I was taught to think, I can guarantee you at least the, la at least the last two, maybe the, the meth lab explosion from before, I can almost guarantee they weren't trained. They're oh, just no. guys fucking around in their backyard yeah. claiming to be wrestlers. And the thing is, those guys say what you want about, you know, New Jack and say what you want about, you know, most of those matches. Those guys were guys who were trained and they may be having a little fun with it, but they're real wrestlers. And then you have these guys screwing around in Uncle Jed's backyard who claim to be wrestlers and they're not. And those are the guys that get killed, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's the, so. that's the, yeah, I, I saw the, the bump coming off the trailer. I saw that coming. I didn't see the car coming. That was, uh, no. Uh, mostly because it's not wrestling. That's uh, again, that's like a Viva La Bam episode. I think they actually did one like that, but that doesn't make it wrestling. So, right. <laughs> you know, if if you could see it on early two thousand MTV, I wouldn't call it wrestling. My and opinion. you want to you want to make sure that your crowd you've invited and they've paid for probably. I would imagine they yeah. probably paid to go. Uh, <laughs> aren't visibly shaken and disturbed. Yeah. And probably won't ever come back again because yeah, they crashed and, a fucking and, car. Yeah, and they don't potentially <laughs> die in a fiery explosion. I'm just exactly. saying. Exactly. Like I've gone to a bunch of wrestling shows. Never did I think there might be a car drive through this building. Never had right? that happen. Never. I've I've always went. Hey, my safety <laughs> is going to be guaranteed here. Exactly. So. <laughs> you don't go to you know you don't go to the Super Bowl and go. You know what? Blimp explosion. You never think that. Right. You're, you're pretty sure. You're pretty sure you're safe. 
So, you're going to see football and you're going to go home. You might get killed right. by a drunk driver. because That's you know. on the way home. That is not yeah. the problem <laughs> with the arena. But during exactly. the arena, while well, during the show, the worst thing you're going to deal with is like Maroon 5. That's it. Right. <laughs> that's the worst thing. And if you're a fan of Maroon 5 like I am, that's not a terrible thing. Well, then you're fine. Yeah, you're great. That's, <laughs> you're great. Uh, well, thank you, Ray. Thank you for coming on. Uh, oh, no I problem. like this. This was Frank's idea. I will give him full credit on this. It was his idea. He sort of sent me a message. I'm like, yeah, that'd be good, fun. And he asked for a, co a couple of comics. And I said, well, I, I, I said, Ray, I was like, hey, I was like, we can. He gave me a couple of names. I'm like, yeah, let's see if Ray will do it. Cause you know, we don't, I don't do a whole lot with you, but I know, you know, just enough to know how ridiculous yeah. it can get. I, so I'm I think this was fun. You. I would, I would love to do this again. So oh, I do. Some yeah. Frank gets some clips together. I would do it again in a heartbeat. No problem. Cool. That's what I'm saying. I, I like said, this might just be its own little video. I don't know, but it's, it's something I thought was fun. I'm glad you were on and uh, I had a heck of a time and uh, yeah. yeah. So Thank Thanks, you for man. coming on. Do you have anything you want to plug before we go? Um, not at the moment with everything that's going on. It's just, yeah, I just want everybody to, out there to stay safe. You know, geez, mm, I'm, I'm telling absolutely. you from somebody that had, I had COVID. I've said it Ooh. on all the other, I, yeah. I got it. I was down for weeks. Um, yeah. Uh, we, we have, I, I'll, I, I just want everybody to be safe out there. Have a great holiday, but stay safe. Make yes. sure that you're distancing washing your hands the oh, masks God, yeah. do help for god's sake i live in yes, a city they do. i see how it helps every day um mm -hmm. but i wouldn't wish it on anybody and i i hope that everybody stays safe we do have a new uh deconstructing bill murray Absolutely. that we'll be doing uh in uh christmas time we'll have a lot of christmas episodes coming up here shortly for the channel so uh, on different diff or different formats so but um it's it's always a good time man i hope get this vaccine out we can get together in real life and uh yes. do some more gromy shows man because absolutely <laughs> so. yeah exactly i'm the same way i i thought about the other day and i have not done a live show we had a beans on parade show in january that was the last time i've done a live show at, uh, wow. in front of an audience because of this and we could have done gromies i think in march when it was at the beginning of this stuff but we all frank and myself and gromy got together and we just didn't feel we didn't feel right you know what i mean it didn't seem like it was so we haven't done a show yet but yeah once we get this done um until then until live shows are back until we can do it safely we're going to be doing it online we're new streaming shows a um, cool. lot of stuff through zto is going to be coming out like i said a lot of podcasts a lot of videos we're doing a lot of that stuff so you're going to see ray you're going to see me you might see frank a couple times uh jake and ken and everybody everybody's doing something we're putting together so check out all the podcasts check out the videos there's always some kind of content and that's going to do it for this time until next time my name's dan this has been exploder have a good one <laughs>